a group of friends around to your house and you want to show them this incredible thing you've discovered called virtual reality. So how do you show them this nascent technology while also showing off all your amazing gaming moves? Well, you can cast what you are seeing in VR to almost any smart device in your house. And I'm going to show you four very easy methods to do this. Plus, there is one more way, which is quite technical, and you will have to jump through some hoops, but it provides you with the best quality footage available, which can come in handy if you're thinking about live streaming your adventures on Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, or YouTube. So make sure you stay till the end of the video for that. I am a MetaQuest Creator Program member, so if you haven't picked up a Quest headset yet, or there are some games you want to purchase, please use my official Meta affiliate link in the description. You'll get a nice $30 back in Quest cash for any headset you buy, plus a 10% discount on any games that you pick up. Thanks. Before we jump in, it is very important that your Quest headset is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the device you are going to cast to, and preferably on the five or six gigahertz channel. This will give you the best quality. Ready? Let's go. Number one, the easiest way of showing your friends how incredible VR is, is to use the Meta app, which you can download and install on any smartphone or tablet that you own. In fact, you will already have this app on one of your devices as you need it during the initial setup of your headset. Turn on your headset, open the app on your mobile. On the top left, you will see your connected headset. Simply tap on that, then tap cast. If it is your first time casting, you may get a few pop-up boxes, but basically that's it. Plus, there is a bonus. If your smartphone allows screen mirroring, or on my Pixel 9 Pro, it's just called Cast, you can then show what your phone is seeing on any smart TV you have. This method may introduce a second or two of latency as you're basically casting through two different devices, but the people watching won't notice. Second method is also extremely easy. You can connect directly to any smart TV that has the Cast option or Chromecast software built in. Fire up your headset and start up a game. There are two ways to cast in this situation. Press the right Oculus button and on the in-game panel, you will see the cast icon. Or click on the camera icon and select cast. You should see a list of available devices, but if the device you want to cast to is not shown, make sure your Quest and TV are on the same Wi-Fi network. If still not showing, just give the Quest a quick restart to refresh your connection. Once you've located your smart TV, just select it and you will start casting. How easy was that? Number three is via a web browser. This can be done on laptop, a PC, or if your smart TV doesn't have a built-in casting feature, you can open a web browser app on your TV and do it that way. Open your preferred browser and in the top bar, simply type in oculus.com forward slash casting. Sign in using the Meta account linked to the headset you want to cast from, and don't forget to bookmark this page for future ease. Now pop on your headset, fire up a game, Hit the right Oculus button, then the cast icon, or open the camera app and select cast to web browser. Once the casting has started, you can make the picture full screen. You'll also have to unmute the audio, and there you go. Still easy, eh? Our fourth method is the only one that will cost you a bit of catch, and it's using an Amazon Fire Stick, as shown here, which cost me £39.99 in the UK. You can use the web browser method, as explained above, but there is also a free app called AirScreen, so download and install it to your Fire Stick, once the app is loaded up, you'll see a QR code, and above that is a web address. On your Quest headset, open the web browser again, which you will find here, or in your app library here, and type in the numbers. Leave out the HTTPS bit, just the numbers. Once typed in, you will need to give consent to connect on your TV. Then, as before, pop your headset on, choose your preferred casting method, pick the air screen app window, and Bob is indeed the brother of your father. My fifth and final method is a bit more in-depth and you must use a laptop or PC to do it, but it will give you the best quality footage, especially handy if you are planning to live stream on Twitch or YouTube, or just want your friends to see the absolute best quality output. However, you do have to jump through a few hoops. So here we go. You will need a MetaQuest developer account, but don't worry, it's completely free and will only take you a minute to get set up. So go here, open your preferred browser, type in MetaQuest Developer Hub, then go to the Meta Store. Click download, tick the box, 
and then download the software. So open the MetaQuest Developer Hub and then click the button that says create a developer account where it will take you to a sign up page. There are a few short steps and then once that's completed, you can come back to the MetaQuest Developer Hub. Turn on the headset you want to cast from, then open the Meta app on your phone or tablet. The headset should appear top left, so tap on it, then headset settings. And you should now see the option for developer mode. Tap that and turn it on. Once that's done, we can plug our USB-C cable into our headset and it should appear. If it doesn't, then just click up here and add headset. There may be a few steps and you may have to put your headset on several times, but it's all pretty straightforward. Don't be intimidated by all the features. This is a tool for developers, but we're only interested in two things, the cast button and the ADB over Wi-Fi slider. Now this is where the magic happens. Put the ADB over Wi-Fi slider to on. The headset will quickly reset again, then the slider should be blue. You can now unplug your USB cable, but still get cinematic wirelessly. How good is that? Tap cast and a new window will pop up. That shows you what your quest is seeing. It will say original one, one. So tap the little arrow and you will see two further options. Now cropped is what all the other methods used and is not a true representation of what you see in VR. It's basically the one, one cropped to 16, nine. What you want is cinematic. This is an amalgam of the left and right eye and gives you the best possible quality for showing off your quest to friends, live streaming or recording footage for YouTube, etc. Click that and VR app restart required will pop up. Click that, your headset will briefly reset, then ta-da! Now unmute the window, you'll see the full glorious picture of what your VR headset is outputting. Like I said, this is great for capturing gameplay footage or streaming to Twitch or YouTube, as this is the ultimate uncropped view. Phew! We had to jump through a few hoops, but we did get there in the end. So, which is your favorite method for casting your meta quest? Did you just prefer the phone app? Did you prefer the smart TV route or the fire stick? Or have you gone full beast mode and set up the meta quest developer hub? You know the drill, get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. If you loved this content, please subscribe and join my channel membership like these lovely people did. You get custom badges, emojis, and an exclusive members only channel on my Discord. If you want to watch more content from me, you can click here or here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.